so sorry. I the camera. Okay. Okay, so as Taylor just said, Regina George, <laughs> who when I am faced with a with a life debacle, I tend to turn to mean girls and ask myself, what's better, lying or telling the truth? the bracelet in my style. I'm not going with jewelry. What I do know, though, is that we aren't arguing whether or not in that situation lying is better. We've both given situations in which lying is a better answer and telling the truth is a better answer. That's obviously it comes down to the situation. What, it, what the answer should come down to, though, is what Taylor said herself. The resolution states that lying is the most, or I'm sorry, that honesty is the best policy or the most desirable way to go about doing something. Taylor said in, I don't even know if you want to call it a cross or simultaneous loud speaking, whatever you want to call that, she said it herself, that lying can be the better way to go about doing something. And that's all that I was really looking for. I wasn't saying that lying is the best way to do something. It gets people in trouble. It really can. But at the same time, lying can be the best way to do something. And therefore, due to the resolution in which we are arguing, that proves my point right there. Now, Mr. Redican, if it's okay with you, I got most of what I wanted to out of my cross. So is it okay if I keep this short and sweet? Very cool. So throughout this debate, we have been arguing, we have not been arguing the moral or the ethics of lying, but rather it's strictly a debate on the usefulness of in certain situations telling the truth versus can you tell lies in certain situations and have it be a more beneficial outcome. I pride myself on being an honest, good person. But for this debate, I tried something a little bit new, working on my active or creating writing skills, if you know, you could say. You see, there is no Dr. Elliot Chang from the Harvard Medical Center who conducted a study on the effects of lying, nor was there a statement from a uh, Stanford professor, nor is there a child psychologist, Noah Weber. Rather, these were bits of evidence that I made up to make my point. First of all, they made lying sound medically good, but it, it proved the fact that lying can be beneficial because it helped me in this debate. You see, Elliot Chang is a low-level comedian whose name in itself, I figured, would connect to the Asian audience. It sounds legitimate enough for everybody to accept it as a name. Dr. Noah Weber is just a combination between a biblical character and the man who created the dictionary where I got most of my definitions from, just without the st Gotcha. You see, I am not necessarily proud of what I did, but lying can sure as heck be beneficial, which this has shown. That being said, points that I touched on in respect to Santa Claus, the Tooth Fairy, Heaven and Hell, Schoolwork, and Cole Hamill's idiotic statement. I'm really mad about that, sorry. Uh, that is all rather legitimate, in which lying can be beneficial to promote, because lying can be beneficial to promote good behavior. It can bring together people of all different backgrounds. It can boost your grade, and it can keep people away from a fine or a suspension or getting in trouble. All benefits in the cases of lying. Telling the truth may be morally correct. However, in no way, shape, or form is honesty the best policy all of the time. Thank you.